right, we are here with Honey and Salt at Hops and Grain Brewery here in South by Southwest. Uh, Y'all want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Yeah, my name is Ben, and I'm the drummer for Honey and Salt. I'm Ace Wade, I sing and play guitar. I'm Austin, and I play bass. Awesome. All right, so um, Austin, we hear that you have taken some music lessons yeah. in the past. Can you describe that for us? Yeah, I took uh, lessons right when I started playing in uh, sixth grade. Uh, just like once every two or three months or so for an hour. Basically, it taught me like the basics, like how to hold it, how to like, push it with your fingers pretty much. And, uh, sure. and I kind of just learned songs that are really so, stopped taking lessons halfway through high school for electric like, bass and started taking on upright bass for orchestra for a cool. year. And then having the time to take it anything until this last year I started taking lessons for Awesome. And how would you say that has sort of informed your journey to this point, to getting uh, where you're at? It's definitely pushed me to get better in a lot of ways that I wouldn't have on my own. And uh, I think it kind of helps you turn your ears open to different ways of playing the instrument. Right yeah. on. I thought it would help, help me a lot. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, and Wade, so when did you actually start playing the guitar? I, I played trombone throughout high school. I was a music major for a year uh, in San Antonio, so I, I, I got lessons playing trombone. It, playing guitar, at least writing music on guitar, uh, it was helpful to have lessons on another instrument because you have a capacity for uh, at least some minimal amount of theory. We, I mean, we're pushing ourselves, like trying to push ourselves technically, but at the same time, we want the songs to be somewhat accessible. And the fact that we we're having fun on stage, I mean, we're, it's, we're trying to like show that we can play, we can play technical music, but still but be still have fun. accessible. Yeah. yeah, we all, I mean, we all respect each other musically and as, and as people as humans. So. <laughs> <laughs> So just one last bit on the South by Southwest bit. Y'all are official South by Southwest artists this year. What do you think has you know has made the biggest difference? Um, I guess having that classification. I, I just think it's, it's exposure for us. It's been great for South by because we're playing from a bunch of people. Never played for another year. We're out of town. We're still gonna do that every single day in Austin. So. Sure. And I know awesome. I know people like in general uh, like respect us in the city, but now it's like as we're South by official that it's like people uh, recognize us for it. So I think that that's good, good in and of itself. It's a form of legitimacy for sure. <laughs> this is your first time? first time ever at South by. So wow. Like, I'm having a super good time. <laughs> honestly, it's like the coolest thing I've ever done. Thank you boys for letting me do this. Yeah, well I say uh, let's wrap it on that. Thanks yeah, again, y'all. Thank so Appreciate it. <laughs> Excellent.